Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will be taking a step-by-step -step approach to setting yourself up on Redbubble. For those of you who are unsure what Redbubble is, it's essentially a print-on-demand platform allowing creative entrepreneurs to create designs, apply them to products, and sell them to the public for profit. It's very simple to use, there is zero cost, and you have every chance to make some money. Before you can get going though, you will first need to set yourself up on Redbubble. Don't worry, it's very simple and consists of the following three steps. Number one, creating a Redbubble account. Naturally, the first thing you need to do is to sign up to Redbubble. So, going to the website, click sign up, and it's a simple matter of entering your email address, choosing a username, and a password. Try to choose a username that reflects you and your ideas, and of course a secure password, ideally with numbers and a punctuation element. I was once told by a cybersecurity expert that choosing a verse of your favourite song and using the first letter of each word followed by a number is a great way of choosing a secure and memorable password. Once you're signed in, you'll be taken to the home screen and there in the top right hand corner are your options where you can also access various account settings. Finally, to complete your initial setup, go to email account, find the confirmation email and confirm your address by clicking the link provided. Once that's done, the next step involves probably the most important aspect. Number two, selecting payment options. Now that you have an account, you wanna make sure you're gonna get paid. So first, go to the right-hand corner and select Account Settings from the options. Ignore the other options for now and scroll down and on the left, you'll see under Account Settings, Edit Payment Details. Select that one and here, you can enter your personal details address and very importantly, payment currency. Note that you need to be careful choosing the currency because once selected, it cannot be changed later. You can choose from Australian, Canadian and US dollars, as well as euros and pounds sterling. Once you're happy, tick the box saying you agree to the user agreement and save changes. By the way, it's worth having a quick scan read of the user agreement, particularly so you have an understanding on Redbubble's legal obligations towards your copyright. Feel free to check out our video on the subject if you're interested. Number three, adding your avatar and cover image. So, once you've sorted out those steps, you can think about individualizing your profile. You want to choose an avatar that says something about you and the kinds of designs that you intend to sell. For this, we go again to the top right, choose account settings, and we're given the option at the top to choose an avatar. For now, I would choose a cash bright image, select, and then hit upload. There we are. Next, we'll be looking at uploading a cover image. Note it needs to be 2400 by 600 pixels and a JPEG or PNG file format. So I'll go here, select this image, and hit upload. The other options are well worth looking at as well, but this can be done later if you wish. Finally, hit save changes, and there you are. All set up on Redbubble and ready to get going. Thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please leave a like, and if you fancy learning more, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And until the next time, stay sharp, stay hungry, and stay cash bright.